Bondia Diop. The leader of the Kuros gang is right in front. Whoa. Huh? A hand! Help! What the hell? Eh. Looks like something happened down there. Let's go. Kuros King's final battle lies ahead. Get ready. You might want to save first. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Da -da -da. What am I doing in this menu? I don't even know. Not load! Come on, people! What are you doing to me here? You're screwing around. And so when Aaron just steps away from the final boss of the Kuros Gang, but it seems a crisis has arisen. I, I like how it makes it sound like this is endgame. <laughs> Well, I guess end game of this section of the game, so to speak. Pretty sure it's not the end of the game. That'd be a pretty short game. Eh. By Misha. Those who want my place, step forward. Did he kill all of them? Why? Hmm? Red Tunic, you must be Coriodin, those who took care of Onia and Norbert for me. It seems you know who we are. Chief of the Kuros, you know why we're here. Come on, young man, why aggressive? I am Nimrod Kuros, recently challenged chief of the Kuros gang. I am sorry we meet in the midst of, let's say, a business restructuration. Business? Yes, let me explain. The Bodia Forest hosts heaps of immigrants each day who dream of reaching the beautiful city of Isau. Of course, Isau and its authorities cannot accept all these people. This is the faithful servant. I am intervenes, enabling everyone to get his share. You think that killing people in the forest is a service you're rendering? Killing clients? No, of course not. The latest events are a result of, let's say, mismanagement issues. I divided the forest in two areas, controlled by my former associates. Each earned a percentage per immigrants caught. Oh. You see, some visionaries from Asao give these immigrants a chance to earn their place in this city. They just need to work for some time in the Orionic Mines on the continent. But the competition between my two last partners went beyond the professional realm. Onia became too ambitious. Poor girl. After all I did for her, she tried to turn my gang against me. As my grandfather used to say, Beat your wife every day, even if you do not know why. She will know. A wise man, Grandpa Karost. <laughs> what? You speak of her as if she were a mere object. Object, don't exaggerate. Let's try to remain professional in this conversation, and not let our emotions drive us, would we? In a team, everyone must sacrifice what he has to offer. Some of my business partners asked for, let's say, personal services. No one knows how hard it was for me to accept those special contracts. For me, too, it was not too easy. Is he serious? If immigrants had such an opportunity, why do you treat them like commodities? Hmm, they don't always understand their luck. Often one must force them a bit to go down the mines. But that pays a lot of money, believe me. So, are you interested? There are two vacancies, and plenty of money to be made. Are you asking us to join your slave trade? I suggest that you leave Bodhi up if you intend to live longer. Hmm. Let's say this is the end of this job interview. You are not as stupid as Onia thought. What a shame. Boss battle!
Hmm, you are an adept in the art of the Karwarguden. Slash quickly with your blade, strike hard with your body. That's your strategy. I'm a soldier trained in Upepokavu, the art of dry wind. The spider's web is powerless against the speed and force of the wind. You're not in luck. He is skilled. Namayo told me that our way of fighting is extremely rare. I must be careful. This will be a fierce fight. Well, I'm sure it will. Nobody has the right to treat anybody else like a commodity. The honor that flows in my veins will stop you right here, Nimrod Karos. You tell him. Keep that AP up. Got it. Honor of the Coriodon. Nice. Avery's. Greed, they say money doesn't bring happiness. I beg to differ. If everybody's equally unhappy, then I'd rather be unhappy but still rich. The world is a pyramid. Only the unscrupulous reach the top. Everything else is just weakness and idealism. Gom's bite? Whoa. Got the hell out of there just in time. I think he's got some kind of shield on or something. There we go. Tax evasion? What the hell? Paralysis? I don't... I don't like that at all. Ah. Evasion. Oh boy. The hell off of me, man. How far can you fly? Whoa. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> he kind of rode on the ice like a surfboard. That was pretty badass. Like, uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie. He really likes doing that. You can't really get get away from it. It seems like. Freaking ice, I'm telling you. You spend way too much of this fight frozen. And I can't move. That's wonderful. I think that's what what, what you want to do, but you can't always do that. R R Richmond's paranoia. You can't really jump over that. You can try. Maybe, maybe jumping over that avoids part of it. But. Honor of the Coriodon. How do you like it? Of course, he still gets to do his little thingamajigger. I can't even see what's going on. He's like practically off screen. Dude, get off of me. 
see the wall that separates those who have everything from what they have. It is good that you can still heal when you're frozen like that. Kind of missed him there. This guy is really annoying with all the freezing. And he does it constantly. Every time I do that, he like dashes right through us, so it's kind of pointless. Well, can that like destroy the ice? And he jumped right into it. Seriously? Infinite sweep. you're too close to the edge there's there's like no way to avoid that really I can't move so I can't get healed that's that, that, that's so dumb Yeah, that did a lot of damage. As soon as I go over to attack him, he does that, of course. Dashed right into freaking ice. Oh shit, I'm not charged, am I? You and your men have awakened the wrath of the Coriodans. May the fire from my spear make you suffer like your victims. Cheap shot me while I'm charging, dude. That's not cool. Cheap unlocked ice melt. Okay. I guess because I melted his ice? Or is that just for beating him? I don't know. <laughs> One or the other. Pearl Choker and a Malika earrings, whatever that is. Gain some levels with my audience. It's good stuff. Level 13. Well, that fight was kind of annoying with, with all the freezing going on, but we took care of business. Wasn't too bad. 
You just gotta make sure you watch your HP. It's not too shabby. Fire and ice. Too much fire. The ice couldn't handle it. Uh, uh. Koof. Koof. Your immoral trade stops here. You... you don't understand. You think you have put an end to what exactly? Look around you. Bodiop was used to capture slaves for centuries. This forest, it is destined for the exploitation of men by men. I'm dead, but all the Kuros will fight to take over the business, and a new Nimrod will emerge. There is too much money in it for the throne of Bodiop to remain empty. <sighs> Excuse me. We will inform the King of Asal of what is going on here. We have recorded your confession on our Kalu. The King... Ugh. Good luck. I will console myself behind the Great Veil, whilst rejoicing at your disenchantment. <laughs> it's over. We're done with the Kuros. I thank the ancestors who were with me in this battle. Let the souls of the victims rest peacefully behind the Great Veil. By burying Nimrod and his gang, I was able to retrieve the Saisal Pass. We won't be considered immigrants anymore now. Let's continue our journey towards the city of Isau. You have rapidly obtained your first soul pillar. I hope that we will win the others as quickly. Yeah. We really need to be less naive. Out of Zama, people are deceitful and brutal. Let's avoid falling into such traps again. Yes, but... Why but? How will we know when we must help someone and when we shouldn't? If we had not followed Onia, we wouldn't have enabled your Orion to grow. Hmm, you're right. We'll just have to move on and do our best. We have got this far by being faithful to ourselves. In my opinion, we should continue, and we will find our path. Wait a minute. What's going on? Are you tired? No, it's my suit. It's vibrating strangely. It seems like it has absorbed something. Oh, yeah? I am able to use ice spells now. Sweet! My suit must have absorbed that technique during our confrontation with Nimrod. It seems like it is transmitting part of this information to my suit, too. It must be one of those synchronization powers Yama Yod was speaking of. So we got an ice spell now, that's sweet. Enzo and Aaron have, have new techniques. Reach the city by how to obtain something something. Whoa, the camera's like moving like all crazily. Alright, so let's see. Ooh, crystal chaos we now have. An ice blossom that freezes enemies in their tracks.
Do a supercharged ground attack. Enables you to throw opponents a long way by using a charged hit while on the ground and pressing forward or backwards. Okay. That's nice. So we got Gom's Iceberg. Aaron summons three gigantic ice spikes which shoot out of the ground. Nice. Well, that takes 150 AP, it would seem. Damn. Of course, it gives you even more abilities we can learn as we go along, it would seem. That's pretty sweet. Okay. So now where do we need to go? I'm guessing we, we need to go back to that checkpoint then, right? Or something. So that's where we are. I guess we just continue... Looks like going to the right takes us somewhere. What's over here, Bandia the Old? Ooh. Where are we going? Body up entrance, right? I think that's where we need to go. I think we need to head back to that checkpoint. Thingamajigger. Yeah, they're going. It looks like you have the right papers. We'll let you through now. Alright. Do you want to go through? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Kaya Sal. Whoa, it's huge! When I think that it's our first voyage out of Zama, let's try and make the most of it. You always stay in a good mood, at least. World map, so this, this is the world map. The world map allows you to manually switch from one main zone to another inside a continent. You can see here which areas of the continent our couple is able to go to. You control Enzo's movement. He can walk in every direction in order to explore the continent. Movements are limited to within the continent. The RB and LB buttons allow you to zoom in. Cool. During your journey, you may find enemies on your path. An icon then appears above Enzo's head for several seconds. You can then avoid the fight or press A during this period to fight. To exit the world map, you need to enter an area that is already available. Press X when you're close to an area and enter it. Alright. Perhaps we can train a bit too and make some money from fighting on the planes. So I guess you could grind if you wanted to, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. So this is where we are, it would seem. I think that's where we need to go. But we can get into a battle, you know. Why not? Guess we could try our new ice spells out, right? More trackers. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, oh look at all that damage. Boom. Tore them apart. Hey, you got back up. What's the matter with you, man? Stay down. He does not want to stay down. There you go. So I guess if you didn't get the achievements for beating the the uh, certain amount of enemies, you, you could always fight around here until you do. Alright, so... Trying to get up there, it won't let me. What's up with that? Maybe I gotta go around. Radians are here! How fun. Dude, get the hell off of me. Oh, 
Boom. Boom. Dunk him right out of the air. Yeah, I, th I think he's dead. Level 11 for that Orion. There we go. Just kind of takes a struggle to get up to it.